Alright, so this is the uh, little bit about the PID controller that we've implemented into the Arduino. Uh, this was downloaded from the Arduino Playground. It's the Arduino PID library by Brett, Brett Beauregard. Uh, and he's got the Arduino uh, firmware to put on the controller as well as the processing user interface. So, uh, it, you know, this has already been done and it works well, so we're probably not going to spend the time to make this on our own, but instead just use this publicly available library. So, getting to the uh, front end here, uh, this is basically the control for the PID controller, and this can be done, uh, you know, this is just a graphical user interface. This could be done through software as well. But uh, what you see here, the red line is what the current temperature is. The green line, which is at zero right now, is the uh, target. And then down here, the blue line is the controller output. So the axis for the controller output is from 0 to 255, which is for your analog write, uh, which is basically just doing pulse width modulation going through a high power MOSFET that runs into some nichrome wire. So that's what's generating the temperature. And then for the input, we have a thermocouple that's going through uh, basically just a thermocouple conditioning uh, IC, which is creating a voltage between 0 and 5 volts, which I think has a 10 millivolt per degree C calibration. So we can use that to set a target and then based on that uh, achieve our desired temperature. So the axes here go from 0 to uh, 1023, which is what you would get if you did an analog read on uh, one of the analog input ports on the Arduino. So. What I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to set a new target um, and show how the whole system responds. So you can see the green line uh, just jumped up there as I'm sending the new uh, target to the controller. Uh, you can see the blue line is slowly increasing as it's trying to raise the temperature. Uh, and the red line will slowly uh, increase there too. We're getting a lot of these spikes in here, uh, which I, I think have something to do with uh, with the fact that we're using this MOSFET to just dump uh, high amounts of current through the nichrome wire, and that's creating a lot of interference uh, both in our in our ground loop and, and probably also on our on our positive five volt rail. So that's something that we'll have to look at. But I mean, you can see the general trend there. Uh, is still is still fairly good and thankfully PID controllers are made to be a little bit uh, have be able to handle noise a lot better than your standard controller so uh, that's you know you're, we're getting your typical overshoot and then it will start to uh, settle back down you can see that the uh, the output has dropped now uh, allowing the uh, the actual temperature to slowly drop so we'll come back to this so we can show you a little bit better response, but I'll show you some of the circuit here. Um, this is just the Arduino. That is the thermocouple um, IC. That's our MOSFET there. And this is running up to our, our heater barrel assembly. And basically what you see coming in here is the, uh, that's the wires hooking up to the nichrome wire. And then this is our thermocouple lead coming up into the side here. So. This runs down to, um, we've got some alligator clipped on connections, in addition it's hooked up to um, a, a um, handheld multimeter that has a temperature setting. So we're able to actually look at the temperature and I was using this just to make sure that uh, the PID controller is actually working and uh, it is. So uh, we won't really be worrying about that anymore. But So this is just our, our basic test circuit. Uh, coming back to the user interface, you can see we had the first uh, overshoot there, and uh, now it looks like it's it's coming back down just a little bit. Um, eventually, uh, it will start to kick back in again. You can see it's now just starting to pick back up. You can do. Um, we could. I haven't tweaked any of these settings yet, so I'm sure we could get a faster settling time. Uh, by changing either the P, I, or D parameters, but uh, for the moment I was just really playing with this to make sure that it works and showing off the interface. But this does have a very nice, um, they're using the same control P5 library to make all of these uh, input boxes. So you've got something that you can, you can set what you want the set point to be, which is what it will try to match. So that's where we're actually setting the temperature. And then down here you have your P parameter, your I parameter, and your D parameter. Uh, and then the button at the bottom is the send to Arduino button, which will actually 
send those parameters to the microcontroller. So um, you can see we, we've got a pretty good output here. Uh, and I've, I've done this before and it will settle very well so it, it usually takes um, a couple minutes to get to the desired temperature but once it gets there it will be controlled extremely well which is just the nature of the PID controller so uh, that's enough on that um, this lab again this uh, library can be found at the Arduino playground uh, and that's what we'll be using to control temperature on our uh, FDM extruder